Okay, I wanted to do this live video to show you the proper logistics and how we go about cleaning a 50,000 square foot building. I can clean anything from 100 square feet to 50,000 or 100,000, I don't care. It's all about the logistics and having your crews and your equipment in the right place. Notice I've got a truck over here at the side door. And then I've got two trucks over here. Follow me throughout the building, I'll show you what I got going on. Basically, I've got one machine over here, one machine over there. I've got a guy cleaning upstairs, one cleaning downstairs, and another person helping them pre-vacuum, pre-agitate, and all that. I've got the box truck here to bring all the extra equipment, and that way I've also got a backup truck in case something happens. Last thing you want to be doing is doing this job and you got a problem. And notice down here I've got a wet floor sign. The building's empty. I, I really don't need a wet floor sign, but I'm still going to have it here just in case somebody comes up for some odd reason. Plus they can wipe their feet on the red carpet treatment. You notice I lay that down. And I kind of want to show you what i got going on over here. First of all, I want to put the shoe covers on. I like to keep shoe covers on my cart. I picked up this cart for big jobs. It's really handy. It's really cool. You can walk it through a large job, carry all your stuff on it. It's really nifty. And notice what I've got on here. I've got some tools just in case something goes wrong because believe me, something always goes wrong, right? No doubt about it. A little bit of WD-40. I've got a couple of um, faucet adapters so I can hook up the sinks. I want to make sure I've got that. I've got a screwdriver. I've got backup batteries for my IPS sprayers for pre-spraying. Uh, we're doing the carpets and we're doing the tile and grout here. So I want to make sure I've got everything on hand here. I've got one for spraying uh, Grout Master. Grout Master is our choice, no doubt about it. One of the best selling, if not the very best selling, the safest product for tile and grout and the fastest working in the industry. Appreciate all the support. And then I've got another sprayer here with another IPS sprayer and we'll be using that for using the spike formula which we'll be using throughout the place for the heavy and dirty traffic patterns. I've also got a new spotter that people don't know a lot about. It's called a filtration soil cleaner and it really works great in a place like this that hasn't been cleaned in 10 years and they got a bunch of oily spills. Really, really nice. It's a nice gel. Fantastic. This is always a last resort product because it's that powerful. Believe me, there's nothing like it on the market. And then we're running our alkaline rinse through the machine. When I say alkaline, it's alkaline neutralizing. It's at 8 pH. So it's almost totally neutral already and it crystallizes, it vacuums right off, so it's really going to look nice when we're done. Then they give it a nice fresh scent. Through the machine, we're running some Ecoside, the Beachy Peachy. It's all natural. I don't like putting anything inside of a building where you've got a lot of people in there and they don't have an opportunity to smell it. They're moving in Friday. And this has a uh, zero, 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 zero when it comes to health risk, flammability, physical hazard, personal protection, all zeros across the, across the marks right there. I think that's really important. So it smells nice and fresh, has a nice fresh peat smell to it. I've also got, of course, measuring cups because we'll be, you know, um, if we're going to be doing some encapsulation with our encapsulation products, we want to have that on hand to be able to fill our OP machine. I'll show you that in a little bit. And down below here, I keep a box of shoe covers and gloves. I've got some bonnets. I've got some pads and extension cords. So you notice how nice and easy this, I can just roll this right around the building. It's really nice. Okay, if you walk with me over here, you kind of see I've got the hose. One of the hoses going over into the bathroom here. There are no faucets. There's no garden hose faucets on this whole building. How strange is that, right? So we have our faucet adapters. We're hooked up to the sink. So I want to explain to you the proper logistics to kind of see how it's going now. We've got the CRB for pre-agitation. We've got some air movers for drying everything with. Uh, I brought a couple different types of wands, swivel wands, so we can get around some tight areas behind doors and stuff like that. We've got this uh, SX-12. We'll be cleaning all the tile and grout like you can kind of see through here. Uh, all the bathrooms. We're doing all the bathrooms throughout the buildings. And they've also got some uh, uh, showers, stuff like that. We're taking care of all that. Uh, another air mover. And then we've got the Vibe here. I like using the Vibe for certain areas where I'm going to be doing some BLM. What I'm probably going to do is hot water strike this whole place today. Come back tomorrow and touch it up with the Vibe. And I'll be using some bonnet on some of the bad areas and the traffic patterns. I'll pop this. Uh, pad off of there. I'll throw the bonnet on here when we're done today. I'll bonnet some of the really bad traffic patterns and then tomorrow I might come back and, and just leave a guy here and let him just touch up the building. think that'll come in handy. Of course you want to have your weights on hand. Alright, so we're going to walk back here, uh, take a quick look and see what's going on. We've got our corner guards in place. All kinds of offices through here. It's crazy how large this place is here. So I've got two guys working each wand. Of course, remember, you can buy all the stuff that I'm showing you here. We sell at the tmfshop.net. Yeah, there's a plug. Uh, including the HEPA vacuum cleaners, the pro teams, we carry those. You look back here, we've got Ed, and I've got Brian down here using the CX-15. 
does a fantastic job. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you a race and stripe that we did for a demonstration after I go upstairs. Show what's going on. This office is all over the place. See how dirty and soiled this is, Matt? Can you see all this? All right, I did a sample room like this, and I showed people how clean how clean it came. I did a race and stripe down the dirtiest uh, traffic pattern in the building, and one inside the elevator, which I'll show you. And I also did uh, one of the dirtiest rooms, if not the dirtiest room up front, where guess who's going to be in there? The CEO. So I wanted to make sure that's really clean. So he came over, the CEO, he looked at it. They paid like $7 million for this building. They want it done correctly, and they saw all of our reviews. Nobody has more five-star reviews in the Hampton Roads area than we did. We built that reputation by doing things correctly. Okay, so I did that room, did that sample. He loved it. Did some tile and grout with the grout master and the CRB to agitate it. They were in love with it, sold the job along with our expertise. And I can assure him he don't have to come over here and worry about it, do no babysitting. It's going to be done 100%, and he don't have to worry about it. All right, let's walk upstairs, and I'll show you just a couple more things, and then we'll call it quits here. So remember, everything that we have here, uh, you can get from our teamfshop.net. We appreciate you know, all the support that you guys are giving us uh, from our teamfshop.net, uh, whether it's our forum, whether it's our Facebook page. We really appreciate all the support. It really helps me. We're a father and son team. We built this as the largest industry resource, and we've done that by helping people on a regular basis. All right, we're going to try to negotiate our way up these stairs here. It's going to be interesting. Yep, we're going to have to make that turn there, Matt. And I'll be behind you. And we got two sets of stairs here. I want to point this out. We got two sets of stairs. Now I'm going to go ahead and we're going to hot water extract everything. Remember I said that. So I want to make sure I get a good flush throughout this whole building here. The reason being is it's been 10 years since this place has been cleaned. Can you believe that? 10 years since they cleaned this place. The original tenants in here have not cleaned it. So we're going to come in and do a complete deep flush. I could have done VLM, but I decided to do a complete deep flush. And we'll get all that done today, hopefully with a crew of about four to six people. And I might bring in more if necessary, but so far we're doing good. Okay, now I've got two people down here. You notice we've got more offices in here, Matt. The vacuum cleaner set up. You always want to make sure you're taking pre-vacuum really well. I've got uh, Rob over here and Keith in there. We'll get Keith turned around. Keith, you want to turn around a second? Yeah. Just turn your body around, all the way around, so I show them. We're using the bonzer here. Kind of see the bonzer. The bonzer is a great tool for extraction. Kind of see the difference already right up in here. Notice how it's starting to come clean already. Real nice. Pops out all the stuff. Really does a nice job. The bonzer is a great tool. It cleans in both directions, so I really like that. Uh, so if you need to touch up and do any edges, you can keep the wand. But really, even with the bonzer, it cleans so well to the walls. It cleans in the front stroke, cleans in the back stroke. You really don't have to do all that. So remember, we're using the CX-15 downstairs, using the bonzer upstairs. So we're moving right through this place. And the advantage of both those tools is they're great flushing tools. But on top of it, whoops, let's go this way. I want to take the elevator. I want to show them what we did in the elevator as part of the demonstration. But uh, the advantage to the CX-15 and the Bonzer is that it gives you that really, really good flush and it dries extremely fast. That's really important. You want the carpets dry as fast as possible. I love how the CX-15 and the Bonzer encapsulates the heat right inside keeps it there so I can get it dry. I want it really dry because I find encapsulation works best after I've dried it. Look at the size of this room in here. It's a beast. Yep, yep. So we got rooms like this and offices all throughout the whole building. So it's going to give you a little idea of what's going on. All right, so we're going to come down here to the elevator now. And the elevator was really soiled and it really smelled bad too. So I sold them on not only cleaning the elevator, but go ahead and ozone the elevator too. I'm going to deodorize it and ozone it. Give it a second. Um, now, Matt, here, why don't you step back outside for a second, Matt. I want to show you something. Can you see that stripe there? Look at that stripe. It's hard to see in this lighting. I don't know if you can see it in there, but come on in. Just wanted to show them that stripe. And, you know, the uh, CEO was asking, well, how could an elevator get so dirty and right outside the elevator be so dirty? And I let him know it's usually because you've got um, the janitorial services are coming in and they're loading their bags and they're pulling their bags and on their bags is usually inside of there is coffee rinds. And those coffee grinds will take and leak on the floor. And so you'll have these leaks all over the floor. And they'll try to come in and clean it up with something. And it just won't do a good job. So I think that's really important. Would help if I push the button to go down, wouldn't it? All right. So, yeah, like I said, the janitorial companies, they'll end up taking 
and carry these bags. They'll have leaks on them. They'll just drag them down through the hallways and you'll have all these black dots. And you better make sure you're using a good product because you don't want anything, any type of wicking or something like that going on. Now remember, I did this demonstration over a week ago. Can you see this racing stripe? Stand back there, Matt. Can you see this racing stripe down through there? That's crazy, isn't it? So you see the racing stripe. Now look down here. You're going to see what they're doing with the CX-15. I got Brian. Take a look back here. Back that up a little bit. Back up. I'm going to show you this. Look at that stripe going down here with the CX-15. Is that crazy or what? And what we're using on here is the alkaline rinse. When I say alkaline, remember I said it's the alkaline neutralizing rinse. And it dries to a crystal. So it has encaps encapsulation ability. And it has uh, essential oils in it. It smells fantastic. A lot of cleaners are going crazy over it. It's just a fantastic problem, product. But look how doggone good it cleans. Okay? And look how good it's flushing. Come right on up there and take a look at that, Matt. That's crazy. We definitely, definitely see a difference in it. No lie. Look at this line all through there. So we got one guy backing up. I'm usually operating somewhere around 700, 800 PSI with the commercial uh, bar. Remember, there's two bars for the CX-15. There's one for residential. There's one for commercial. It's good to have a guy behind them. Somebody like Ed, he's grabbing the hoses and pulling backwards. We look back up through there, you can kind of see the difference. Yep, yep. Okay, so that kind of wraps it up. I just wanted to kind of show you the logistics. It's really rather simple if you've got all the tools in place. Remember, you need to have, uh, you know, the cart that I have. That's handy to have. It's handy to have, you want to have the vacuums in place. You want to pre-vacuum. You want to be able to pre-agitate with something like a CRB. You want to be able to pre-spray. Uh, something with our uh, Rob Secret formula, the spike we're going to be using here, like we've been using. And then we're using Rob Secret formula. Guess who Rob is? That's me. Anyway, we're also using the alkaline rinse. So we're getting that double hit on it, getting a fantastic flush by using tools I call CET tools, cordless extraction tools. We're using the Bonzer upstairs. We're using the CX-15 downstairs. They're doing a fantastic job. We'll get this place completely flushed. After we get it completely flushed, we're going to set our air movers up. It's already going to be fairly dry because you and I both know that uh, CGD, commercial glue down on concrete, dries very fast anyway. But we're hitting this double hit and we're giving it a really good strong flush. We want to make sure that we get as dry as possible because tomorrow I'm going to come back with my vibe and I'm going to go ahead and touch up the traffic patterns. However, before we leave today, I will go ahead and take and use the vibe. Like I said, we're going to be using the vibe for putting on the uh, bonnets. I want to make sure I put the bonnets on there so I can get a nice good uh, extraction and removal through the traffic pattern. More than likely it's got it all anyway, but we all know how traffic patterns are and how spots they want to come back on you. Then tomorrow I'll bring back our TMF Super Cap. By the way, remember that? We're, we've uh, been testing a new product for almost a year now, an encapsulation product that crystallizes and actually turns right into a plastic and encapsulates around any soil that might want to wick back up and you can vacuum it right off and the client can't see it because it's invisible to the naked eye. So it's really an awesome tool. So remember, you want to have as many tools in your arsenal as possible. I'll walk back in here and show you one more time before we leave. The more tools you have in your arsenal, the more flexibility it gives you and the better job you can do and the more professional it looks to the client. When he shows up and he, when he stops in today, which he probably would, just bought this new building and he's been very hands-on, he's going to see the cart that I've got over there. He's going to see the different tools we have over here. You know, so everything that I'm doing, we're well uniformed. We got our shoe covers on. We are representing true professionalism. Everything we do, uh, you know, just oozes professionalism. That's so important. You want to make sure that you're separating yourself from your competitors. It's making that huge difference over everybody else. And, you know, just because you got the tools doesn't mean you can deliver. You have to have the knowledge. So with our TMF, our truckmountforums.com, it's kind of like an encyclopedia. It's got almost 2 million posts over there where you can read and study about any subject, just go to Google and type in, uh, you know, encapsulation and put truck mount forums after. And it'll give you all the different threads you can find on our forum and on our Facebook page. Remember, that's real simple to do. Suppose you want to know something about swivel wands. Okay, you want to know something about swivel wands. And by the way, remember we sell these in the store. You want to know something about swivel wands? Just type in swivel wands, truck mount forums. Put truck mount forums after every single time and you're going to find everything you want to know. How about CRB? How about tile and grout cleaning? How about the new wand by, um, by Bridgepoint, the Hydroforce new swivel wand? So you can find all that information about it. Anything you want to know, you can find on truckmountforums.com or the truckmountforums backslash uh, carpet cleaning professionals on our Facebook page. Okay, that kind of sums it up. And also, don't forget that we have our tmfacademy.com where you can take and learn any different type of diverse service 
from carpets, from rugs, anything you want to know about, we've got the school for you, the online, you can go ahead and get your cert certification of completion, and you'll be able to handle any job like this from 100 square feet to 100,000 square feet, no problem, you'll understand the logistics, how to clean it, and how to clean it properly, and if you use our chemistry, we truly appreciate it. I'm Rob Allen with Truck Malforms, have yourself a great day.